It's a dangerous job and not for the faint-hearted. Specialist diving units from across the army have been exercising in Scotland. Practicing the skills they need to perform vital engineering work below the surface of the sea. It is extremely vital um, in case we ever get crashed out um, or if we ever needed um, to do a live task. More than 80 divers from across the army are training here in the Murray Firth and off the Isle of Skye. Exercise Submerged Crusaders sees troops from the different units sharing their expertise with one another. So it's just good to see how other units do things differently, how they maintain the kit um, differently, um, how the supervisors run the site differently. And it's just good to learn new uh, trade, yeah. new, new tricks, new trade. Yeah. The theme for this year's exercise is port and theatre enablement. The divers here are sharpening their specialist skills to clear underwater obstructions and keep a harbour working. Vital for any combat mission or disaster and humanitarian relief effort. Where the land meets water, we need army expertise to work in close conjunction with our Navy teammates. It's interesting, I mean, you know, wind the clock back a month or so ago, and nobody really anticipated uh, the city of Beirut's port going up. Um, and uh, that brought into sharp relief just how dependent countries and cities are on their ports and their sea lines of communication. So actually within the army, um, our divers enable the force, they protect the force and they look to project the force as well. It's very much a team effort. And without the support from above, the diver would not be able to do their job. On the control panel, I've got communications with the diver through the umbilical. Uh, I'm making sure they've got their, their supply of air from the surface down to the diver. Um, we've got three supplies of air for each diver. The main supply that they're breathing off currently, the second supply uh, when the first supply gets depleted and then we've got a reserve supply. Should we have any dramas on the panel, we can switch that out fast time and get air to the diver as soon as possible. The divers have to be ready for anything. The weather in this part of the country is extremely changeable. Ideal conditions for training. We've got the good old Scottish weather, so we've had everything from flat, calm situations last week where we could get out to the harbour and practice our search techniques to force five and six winds and sea states today, which has forced us back into the harbour. But the beauty of this is that we're always able to train, so we can come into harbour if we need to, or we could go outside if the weather gets a bit more like this. It's a job where a split-second decision could make all the difference. Making training like this absolutely vital. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.